Hey, welcome on back to Grounded, everyone. I'm S2F Gaming, and today is going to be a bit of an interesting episode, and there is a reason why we are currently paused, and I'm going to go over that in a second here. But to give you guys an idea, what I have been doing is I have been prepping for the, the base building episode, essentially, by going out and getting planks, stems, all of that stuff. And as you guys can see, I've already taken all of my stuff off of the rock and brought it on down in preparation to basically have a little bit of food, go to sleep, wake on up, start the next episode, and focus on base building. And then I got a notification in the right-hand corner that I think it just said we are about to have a red ant raid. And I don't know what the hell we are doing. I have never experienced this before, so I wanted to bring you guys back. I don't have footage or anything like that of it saying red ant raid or anything, because again, this has all been done kind of in the background, unfortunately. But right when I click B, right when I get back into the game... I think we're getting attacked by red ants, which is very scary. Uh, it's the middle of the night. I can barely see. But at the same time, this isn't something I can't pass up as content. We have to see how this goes. We're going to get absolutely obliterated. I even have red ant armor on right now, which is not good. I was hoping that I could have a second to get myself ladybug armor. But I don't think we have any time. So, let's get into this one. If you guys are excited to see the first Red Ant raid of the series, if you guys are excited of the pause menu literally uh, being idle for 10 minutes at this point, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let's get into this one. I don't... Oh god, I really hope this is a small raid. I hope this isn't excessive, but I hope our shit doesn't get destroyed. That's the biggest thing. I just don't want stuff destroyed, but I have a feeling... <sighs> We're going to get a freaking annihilated. So let us begin. Yep. Incoming payback. Red ants. Something. Okay. Um, I can't see a damn thing. Um, I want to get the spider fang out. I do have a second. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. That should keep me safe. Oh god, I hear them. Oh shit. Okay, that's one. Uh, why do these guys look a hell of a lot bigger than usual? Oh, this is a soldier ant. Oh shit. Okay, that's why. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Okay. Let's get the club out here just in case. Was that really it? Are you kidding me? I made this such a big deal. It was two ants. That was the raid. Ooh, they did break something, though. What did they break? What was here? Oh, God. They broke my friggin' bag. No, 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 no. Shoot. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I need to get the resources back quickly in order to make this. Uh, where is the little cuppy thing? What the, what the hell is it called? The basket. Uh, where's the basket? Where's the basket? Uh, typically, we make this guy. Here it is. I need this. Okay. Uh, we need clover. Do I have any clover with me? Let's check. So these guys don't get damaged, interestingly. It is the... Um, I need to make sure... Okay, so it's these specifically that get broken. Got it. Unless we're coming in waves. But I don't think so. The music's done now. Wow, that was such a... Sorry, guys. <laughs> I actually legitimately was nervous. I thought this was going to be huge because I'm like, oh, okay. I feel like we progressed a little bit in the game, right? Like, I feel like we're at a point where maybe we're, like, really good. I can't see a damn thing, by the way. I'm trying to figure out where the hell... There's Cloverleaf. Okay, that should be good enough. I should be able to make this, throw the stuff back in, we'll go to sleep, and we'll st mm. <laughs> uh, I think that was Cloverleaf in here, right? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, let's go get one more Cloverleaf, then we're gonna go to bed, then we're gonna start the base building episode. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I thought this was gonna be a lot, like, more entertaining than literally just fighting two friggin' things and calling it a day. But anyways, um, so we've had our first raid. That was easy. But what I want to do is, and I think it's going to work out really well, it... 
where's this stuff? Oh my god, it's there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is all my upgrading stuff, basically. So, like, this is all the brittle quartzite and all that crap, basically. So, oh my god, if we lost all this, I would be... Oh. <laughs> Anyways, let me get this all inside of this guy for now. I'm wondering if now it's gonna be, like, waves... Now, if, well, I guess the question is, and you guys can let me know in the comments, have we now locked into it that we are now only going to get raids from ants, basically? Because we had an ant take us on here, and then we also had a, um, a soldier ant take us on. Now, what I'm getting at is... Are we gonna be able? Are we also gonna get raids from other ones, or is it just specifically ants now? And it's gonna keep progressing more and more and more and more. Basically, let me know in the comments. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go to sleep. Let's get started with the base building and everything because that is what today's episode is all about. So, what I love about this game, and obviously, as you guys know. I assume you guys have been following my art content that I've been doing since the beginning of this channel. That's mainly what I focus on here, but at the same time, um, I've been loving this game so far. What are you doing? Yeah, get the... Get the hell out of here, dude. Anyways, uh, you don't get the hell out of here, though. You stay here, because I'll cook you. Um, what I really, really like about this game, there's a couple of things. Basically, if there is something that I need to destroy or recycle, I believe I get all the resources back, which is really good. Actually, I think recycle is half, but I can also relocate the items, which is huge. So, like, obviously we had all of our stuff up here. I'm able to move it down, basically, to the floor. I'm able to move it across the map, actually, if I want, which is where some of these stems and stuff came from. Um, to give you guys a little insight, my plan was originally to build on the lily pad, so I started setting up, uh, this was about four or five episodes ago, I started knocking down weed stems and stuff like that and building them up there. I decided to keep the base here instead, just for the meantime. Maybe we'll do something over at the lily pads, but for right now, I want to make a big base here. So, I actually relocated all these guys over to here, and it takes a little bit, but you don't lose the resources or anything, which is really, really Cool. Now, going through everything that we have, we have a decent amount of stuff, don't get me wrong, but there is a couple of things that we still need to get. So what we're first going to do is we're going to head over to the analyzer and we're going to get ourselves fortified walls or fortified bases, I believe it's called, which this is a perfect segue. We definitely need some fortified stuff because, well, we just got raided and it seems like that raids are going to continue more and more and they're going to get more and more difficult. So uh, first step we're going to do is head on over here. Eventually, I want to get pebblet foundations because we can use foundations. There's also like pebble paths and stuff that you can do with this, is, which is really, really cool. But for now, we're going to do fortified bases and we're gonna get that our next step will definitely be the pebblet foundations but for right now this is what we're gonna unlock we're gonna unlock uh pillars and stuff too which is really really cool um personally i have used a couple of pillars and stuff i never got it's interesting so i don't remember unlocking fortified bases but i did have access to the um pillars so i don't know how i did that maybe i did unlock fortified bases i'm not entirely sure but anyways Another thing I really, really like about this game is when you're building, right? So let's go to planks and stuff. Um, we're going to use either grass floor or we can use stem floors. For right now, we're just going to use grass. Um, it's just going to make things easier to try to map out exactly how I want this base and everything. But you can basically put this stuff on the ground like so and then build it later. Like I don't actually have to, I can kind of map out exactly how I want the base right now. Like that, for example. And then I can go ahead and build this when I want to, which is really cool. I love this concept. Now, mind you, there is, all of these ceilings are only supported by one of these guys. I think it's you that's supporting. Yeah, so actually, I think it was that one. So I would have to build that one first in order to start the process, but it is what it is. No big deal. Um, what I'm going to do is I need to get... The first thing I want to do is I need to get this grass floor in the exact spot that I want it in. And you guys will see why in a bit. Um, 
So we're going to bring this back here. I'm hoping this is the... No, this isn't the spot that I wanted in. Okay. I need to make sure it's lined up is what I'm getting at. I know that seems a bit confusing right now. Uh, it seems a little weird, but you guys will see why in a little bit. So maybe... That actually works. Okay, let's see if that lines up. Ah, it's a little off. All right, attempt number two. I think that's the spot that I want. Or did we just do... Nope, that's perfect. That's exactly what I want. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead, make a couple of planks. We'll go out a little bit further that way. We'll bring it on this way. I'm kind of just making a huge box for right now because I'm not sure what we're going to keep and what we're going to not use and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this guy's going to be in the way. Eh. All right, let's just break that and start again. I know, this is going to get a little excessive, guys. I totally get it. Um, let me get this first plank on down. Let me see how far over I can go because that actually might work out better. How about there? Yeah, that's lined up with the spot. Okay, totally forgot. We got 100 seconds in order to get a drink. Let's just head straight over to uh, the fruit juice thing over here and get this guy. Please, God, be here. Thank you. That'll save us. Awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got to kind of break an immersion here a second. Um, I got to move my... Um, my microphone and everything because it's actually blocking the left hand corner of the bottom of the screen so i can't actually see my vitals character wise so uh yeah i gotta do that at some point but anyways just to show you guys a little bit of the progress i kind of had so far so what i ended up doing was this is basically the center spot this is where the base is going to be and we're just going to do a little bit of a hexagon shape because we're gonna yeah we're gonna run into this issue here but i think having it as a hexagon shape won't be as bad like we can't like we can't break those that's gonna have to stay so it is what it is but there's a reason why we're doing this whole thing and we'll do that here in a little bit but i want to start grabbing as much of this as possible and put it on back because we're actually going to switch out our armor now that the uh the really impossible raid is gone at this point uh let's go ahead and switch our armor out give us the ant oh i have the ant on me perfect okay so we'll be able to carry a little bit more. Uh, we can put the ladybug armor back. Uh, let's grab a total of eight and start building this out. But essentially, the plan is we're going to have a bridge, right? And what's going to happen is the bridge is basically going to connect us from here to the top of here. Okay. Now, it doesn't really solve the problem or anything because um, ants can simply pretty much just come up here. And then eventually get across. But that's a lot of pathfinding and stuff. So I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. I'm used to the arc pathfinding. That is basically like... It, it, it's not going to work, basically. But we'll figure it out and see if this actually goes as planned. That is the hope. So let's start putting the floors down. Um, and the floors are pretty much essentially going to be our foundations. Until we get pebble pebblet foundations... This is going to be our foundation for right now, which is the weakest out of all the foundations. But um, we'll be able to do something with this. I think the plan is I might even put like I might try to put pillars on the side of this to kind of act like it's supporting a little bit more weight, that kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and made four total plank uh, pallet things. So basically, this holds as many planks as we can. Um, and it just makes this building process a little bit easier. There we go. Um, but at the same time, I think this still has an expiration. So if you guys don't know, I believe the um, the planks basically have a two day um, expiration. So what ends up happening is, is this the point where I want to start going down? Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Uh, where are stairs? I totally missed stairs already, didn't I? Yes, I did. It's one of the first ones, I feel like. Oh, stairs right there. Okay, here we go. Grass stairs. Okay, let's see if I line this up correctly. Come on. 
There we go. Nope. One more foundation out. <laughs> okay, so let's get one more grass out. And I want to make sure they're all facing the right way. That would be the perfect uh, scenario. But if it's not, it's not the end of the world. But let's make the grass floor there. Put you guys on back. And now let's put in the much needed stairs. Now we could do the spiral stairs. Those are really nice, but not going to go too nuts with it just yet. The idea is that now we have a little bit of an entrance to get up here. So we're going to get some weed stems or the glass planks. Head on over, get the weed stems out. Which is just one for right now. And there we go. So essentially we have a little bit of an entrance to get into our base. Now, I could build this up a little bit more and I think that's what we might do. So let's go ahead and break you. And let's go ahead and break you. It's not going to be a perfect hexagon. But I also want to give us a little bit more space to work with. So let's go like this. You guys aren't facing the right way, so let's do that again. And then we'll put you guys in. There we go. Okay, I think that'll be a little bit better. So let's go ahead and get a total of eight. Support. 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 And support. There we go. Cool. Drop you on down. Let's see what we can do here now. So I think now that we have these... Where are they? I think they're down here. There they are. Now that we have these stem pillars... Let's see if we can get them snapped in. Ah, uh, is it not technically going to work? It's obstructed because of this. Yeah, that's going to look a little wonky, isn't it? Hmm. All right. What if I recycle you? I'm okay having two pillars there. That's not a problem. Okay, so that's how it would look. Ooh, that's actually not that bad. Okay. Uh, let's see, though. <laughs> I actually kind of like that, though. Okay, so let's do that to all the corners, or at least all the triangles. I don't know what this does. Um, I think it's going to be, for me, it's going to be more aesthetics. But nevertheless, that is kind of cool. Okay, I need you on this corner. Come on. Come on, give me access to that corner. Ah, uh, it's not gonna... Oh, it did! There we go. Okay, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, but we'll be able to get it done. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is cool, though. Okay. It looks a little wonky, I'm gonna say, especially with this one here, but it's not the end of the world. But basically, I'm liking it so far. I'm liking how the base is looking and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and get a ton of stems going here just so we could start to begin this process. So we'll pop you down here. We'll pop you up here. So that's how it's going to look on this side. That's not too shabby. Uh, you on this side. We're good. You on that side. We're pretty much good. Need a little bit of water. We'll get that here in a minute. Let's see if I can connect to you. Oh, come on. Yep, there we go. It was there a second. There we go. Uh, okay, so we just need pebblets now. That shouldn't be too, too bad. Let's put this stuff on back. I realized I probably made way too many uh, weed stems, but that's totally cool. <laughs> um, You know what? Can I do this? Will it allow me to... What am I even looking for? Looking for these. Hmm. Nah, I think it's fine like this. Yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Um, we can always expand on this and whatever. This is kind of just a rough draft, if you will. Uh, we do need pebblets. Okay, pebblets, pebblets, pebblets. 
I am worried too, of course, we're not playing on PC or anything. I've had people say, yeah, what is going on with the lag right now? Um, I've had, I've seen people say, um, that lag is a big issue in this game and everything like that. Uh, let's go ahead and eat. I'm just noticing that, that now that we're pretty low on food. So let's go ahead and just eat too. So we're full there. Let's get a little bit of water while we're looking for some pebblets here. Now, are ants going to be aggressive, period, or is it just... Okay, so they're not. Okay, good. I was kind of thinking, okay, with the raid, are we always just going to have ants aggressive now, basically? But it doesn't seem like it. There's the water drop. Where did the water drop go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Whew. No water filtration tablets needed. All right, so got that one. Yeah, we're about half water. That's totally fine. Let's start heading back to base. Uh, we have a couple of pebblets. I think that's going to be enough to finish up uh, support and everything. But yeah, you guys can see certain spots, it's getting really like jittery and laggy and stuff, which I personally have never had before. It's not the base because the base is over here. It's something over there and I don't know what's causing it. Um, but yeah, I am worried that lag is going to start becoming an issue in this game, but that's why I don't want to go too crazy with the bases. But at the same time, base building in this game is a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make that. So that looks like it gives a little bit of support and everything. Probably doesn't do a damn thing, but it's totally fine. Super build, got that done. Okay, so supports, we are good. So now let's start working on the walls, the windows, all that stuff. So we got windowed stem walls. Um, and these guys are going to go right on the corners here. Come on. Give me that snap point. Did I have it? There we go. Oh, actually, I just realized the, some of these could be fa be facing the wrong way. So let's destroy them and do that again. I didn't realize that the arrow was pointing specifically in the direction. So let's go ahead and try this again. Come on. There we go. Good. I want the arrow facing out, essentially. Come on. Okay. Okay, that should be number two. Now, can I do it from this way? Would that be easier? Might be a little bit easier doing it this way, actually. Okay. Come on. Give me that snap point. All right, maybe not. <laughs> All right, stem walls. There we go. Cool. And then from here, I think we'll just make these normal stem walls or we can do. Well, what does it take for a stem wall? It's just weed stems. Oh, that's fine. So we either use stem walls or we switch it over. Come on. Give me the other option. Where are you? There we go. Or sturdy walls. Hmm. It looks like they don't line up, though, which is a bit scary. You see that? Like, you can't build in separate materials then? So is there like a... Oh, there's a windowed sturdy wall. That's what it is. Okay, screw it. We're going to do windowed sturdy walls. That might just be a little bit easier at the end of the day. So let me quickly get through this. There we go. There we go. It's also a little bit easier to see because it's kind of right around where the window is. Yeah, there it was. Come on.
Come on, snap to the spot, damn it. Ah, oh, I just had it. There we go. And then eventually, I could totally make this kind of like a little exit ramp, but that's fine for now. There we go. Or eventually, I can make these kind of like, I don't know, little exits and everything to get out of the base. But let's go ahead and just get a ton of these planks. Start making the walls on this place. All right, that's three. That's four. All right, weed stems, weed stems, weed stems, weed stems, weed stems, a little bit of planks. Uh, weed stem, weed stem, weed stem. Okay, so we're good. So I'm going to drop this here for a second because uh, now we got to figure out how to make a door. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead. Okay, so we have the sturdy door or the door frame. I would guess sturdy door is fine or palisade gate. How big is a palisade gate? Now, let's go with sturdy door. Sturdy door looks short, though, doesn't it? Like, why does that look different than... That's really weird. I don't know. Yeah, I guess Sturdy Door is fine. Which, unfortunately, we don't need any of this at this point. We just need to get ourselves a ton of stems. So let's go ahead. Start building up the rest of this place real quick here, because it is starting to get dark. I want to try to have this done before nighttime, but... Alright, we're starting to come together here. Okay, so for this we need two sprigs, three ropes. Okay, nice and easy. One, two, and I believe you should probably have some. Nope, you have silk, but that's fine. Um, you don't have any rope. While we're at it, I might as well have these guys continuously going here. There we go, perfect. Uh, let's see. Rope, rope, rope. I know I have some. It's just a matter of where the heck here we go. Perfect. Jump up up here. Get the door on and we are good. I feel like this door is a little wonky. <laughs> I'm a little worried that things aren't going to line up now because of that door specifically, but... Um, now do we continue to build up or do we just keep this as our space? I think we got to build up a little bit. So, um, this is when we're going to put in a, oh, it's all the way back over here. Acorn spiral staircase. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll put that on in eight acorn shells. I really hope we have eight. Does that all close automatically or no? Oh, shoot. Okay. So I'm going to have to make sure I, I close that every single time. Uh, weapons and armor. Where is my... Sorry, resources. 15. Perfect. I don't know what else we needed. I just focused on the acorn shells first. Uh, weed stems. Okay, we just need one. That's easy. And there we go. Now we have our next floor. So let's start floor number two. Uh, let's see. Stem floor, stem half floor. Uh, now we're going to switch it back over to... How do you do next material here? There we go. Back to grass floors. Come on. Oh, that... that Uh-oh. That doesn't necessarily work. Hmm. Maybe I had to put the grass floor on first? Oh, is that just how it is? Oh, okay. So I guess it just automatically lines up. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's put this guy in now. All right, guys. So I decided to bring you back the next morning because basically I just went ahead and started to do the planning phases of the next part 
Um, I think having just two floors for right now is going to work out a little bit better for us. I know I said earlier um, that I didn't think we were going to do that because, again, I want to keep the base small and all that stuff. But at the same time, I have quickly realized that we don't really have a lot of room to work with. So just going to start out the morning by getting a little bit of water. There we go. Come on, water. There we go. Need a little bit of food. There we go. Okay, and let's continue building here. I gotta say, it actually looks really nice so far. I'm really happy with how this thing is looking. Um, So yeah, basically it's just gonna be a two-floor place. Um, I think that's the highest we're gonna go. This floor will mainly be like the bedroom and stuff like that. Um, But also, you know what? I think we're gonna get rid of this wall. And we're also going to make this a window. Yeah, I think that'll just be nicer at the end of the day. So we'll go that route. Um, but we do need to go out and get a ton of planks. That's going to be our biggest thing this morning. Um, I could chop down near us. Um, at the end of the day, that would be a little bit easier. But I also don't want to, like, destroy the area that we're currently living in. So we're going to head on over this way. And as you guys might be able to tell... Um, Actually, no, it looks like a lot of this grew back, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can see a couple of stems here and there that I've actually uh, forgot to take the rest of them. But I think if you get rid of the stem, they will grow back. If you keep the stem there, they don't grow back. I feel like that's the right way. I could be getting it backwards, though. Not entirely sure. But I guess at this point, we'll eventually start to see this area and have a little bit of deforestation if I've been having it wrong, because this is pretty much any time I'm looking to build, I'm probably going to be taking just from this spot specifically. But let's go ahead, break down a couple of these trees. Get a ton of the planks that we need. I'm hoping this is enough. I just don't want to end up getting too, like, more than we actually need. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to run on back, see how far we can get with this. It's four planks for one floor. Um... So yeah, we should be looking pretty good with what we've already just taken off. Yeah, that's looking really cool. It's looking like a little treehouse. I like it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's continue here. So four, four. I can start the planning process on this side then. I kind of wonder, should this side just be all windows? Like, so this could be a good lookout point. I know that might be a little excessive, but I think that's the route I'm going to go. I'm going to kind of consider this like a... I got to get rid of that one. Um, but we'll do that in a minute. Um, I'm going to consider this like a lookout point, essentially. Yeah, I think that's going to look a little bit nicer. Um, if we feel like we need to look out into the distance, we can totally just go ahead and just check upstairs, basically. But um, upstairs is also going to be like the... Um, probably like the bedroom, stuff like that. On top of that, we also have... Oh, I grabbed six out of eight. I thought I grabbed all eight. Cool. All right, so there's eight out of eight. Let's continue back to base. But we also need an area where we're going to do, like, cooking, um, crafting, all that stuff. So base is going to be really tight. I don't know how we're going to fit everything, but at the same time, um, we'll figure it out. It's not that big of a deal. But let's put down the next little... Uh, floors here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you and you because I need you to be flipped the correct way. There we go. And there we go. Cool. And I think everything else is the correct lineup. So we should be good. We need a total of four, five, six planks left. Eight, ten planks. Okay. Ten planks. Ah, son of a bitch. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think we lost planks. Yeah. Um, how the hell? Oh, my God. How am I going to do this? I actually did do this at one point, but it was kind of easy. I ended up jumping, thinking I was going to make it, and I landed here. So I was able to kind of finesse the planks over to the uh, to the edge and everything. But this way, oh, my God. I like... There we go. Okay. We're starting to make progress here. Nah, I think they're just kind of lost planks. <laughs> ah, 
Yeah, because you can't grab them while you're in the water. So, well, that's five that we don't actually have now. Now I got to go back and get a little bit more. Um, still need a total of ten. It's just that we had basically five left over here. So I was going to bring them over and just kind of double check. But we're going to go ahead and just knock down these two guys. And this should hopefully be enough. Uh, Grassmaster. Interesting. Wonder what that mutation is. Let's have a quick look and see. So, uh, Parry Master, Barbarian, Grassmaster. Uh, Grass Harvest Speed, essentially. That's what it gives us. Okay, that's fine. Seven, eight, that'll be 11. That's perfect. Okay, let's make sure we don't fall into the water this time, and we should be looking pretty good. All right, let's continue the planning process and seeing what else we need. So now I kind of want to start going with the roof. Um, the problem is, and I think we're going to run... Actually, it won't be a problem. Let's do this. So place blueprint. Place. 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 Uh, over here now. Uh, come on. Come yeah, on, let me place. Place, and... Place. Roof corners. Place you in the corner there, place you in the corner there. Place you in the corner there, and... Place you in the corner there. And now I just think I have to do ceilings, essentially. I don't really have another choice. Clover peaked, clover flat. Clover flat, that's fine. And there we go. Pretty much our house will be done. Okay, looking really good. Let's go on down. Okay, so we need three, six. I kind of just want to do all planks first, and then we can focus on the, on the uh, stem. So three, six. Okay, so how many walls we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 walls. So we need 30 planks. Okay, easy. Let's go get 30 planks and let's finish up the uh, second floor, guys. All right, and second floor is officially done. Now, uh, we got to focus on the roof here. So let's start getting all these pieces in. It looks like just the square ones need oh no they all do okay so they all need stems perfect okay thank god <laughs> i was worried that i ended up getting way too many stems which i did end up getting way too many um planks and everything based on what i broke down over um in our little construction area if you will uh yeah i ended up breaking a lot more than i needed so there is going to be a lot wasted over there but it is what it is uh let's go ahead and throw these guys up and then we're gonna have to head over to that clover area and get a ton of those guys. Now, what about you? Yeah, okay, there we go. If I can... Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't get access to that. Ah, eh, shoot. Um, can I hop up on you? Perfect. Okay, come on. Give me. Come on. That is the one downside that I can't... Oh, because there's no support. That's the issue. Okay. Okay. All right, let's just drop those there for the meantime. Actually, rather, uh, let's bring it back to its actual platform. Drop it on down. Uh, let's go get a ton of clover, because that is the next step in order to make the roofs. Um, and we should be looking pretty good at that point. I might have to make a little staircase, which kind of stinks, in order to just get up there to actually make um, the ceilings on there, basically. Which kind of stinks, but at the same time... Not the end of the world. Believe me, this is a lot easier to build than arcs, so I'm not really complaining too, too much. Let's get our stand back. Let's get this done. Because I know we are looking pretty long in this episode again. I know the last few episodes have been kind of longer, uh, especially since uh, we did the hedge maze in the last one. Uh, oh, my God. <sighs> hedge lab. I swear to God, guys, it's not like a joke or anything. I just keep calling it hedge maze, and I don't know. I think that's the. I think because that's the only time in my life I've ever heard the word hedge used as a hedge maze. You know, like the um, usually around this time of year too, especially with Halloween, a lot of the mazes, like cornfields and stuff, do mazes. Like that's the only. I don't know why hedge maze 
gets stuck in my head. I don't know where I've heard it. I don't know where I heard it from. It's probably one of those things like from your childhood that you heard once and it's kind of just stuck with you, but you never notice it until now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and super build this, super build this, super build this. So now the biggest issue is going to be sap um, in order to get all of this done. But can I... It's not going to allow me to build the ceiling now. Shoot. Okay, so I think I am going to have to make maybe like a half... You know what? Maybe like a half wall would work. And that should give me enough of a height advantage. So I should be able to do that. But let's get enough clover so we can handle all this. Um, and then we got to get sap. And that's going to be a bit of an issue. But... I think we'll be okay. I mean, there's... Uh, I'll be honest, the roof will probably take a couple days because I think what I'm just going to have to do is I'm just going to have to kind of wait it out because um, there is sap that grows by us or at least there's sap around us. And I don't know if putting down a sap catcher where we are technically would work, but usually you have to put it over by the oak tree in order to get just a crazy amount of sap, which... We will do at some point in the series. I, I really do have to get to that point. Uh, maybe we'll do that in the next episode just to set those up. Because we do have to go over to the oak area anyways. Um, because we have to drop off the super chip. I keep forgetting to do that. All right. There we go. Finally. Holy crap. I've been running around all day to try to actually get this base done. And here we are. Exterior is complete. I gotta say, it looks really nice. For the first time building and grounded and everything, it's not too shabby. It definitely looks like a bit of a uh, treehouse and everything. Um, I may switch the upstairs because, I don't know, it looks good. But at the same time, it might be a little excessive with the windows. So I'll kind of figure that all out. But what I'm going to do is, guys, in between episodes, I'm going to start focusing on getting the interior done. I think what I'm going to do is actually, you know what, before that, I think I'm going to just kind of start putting down blueprints so you guys can see kind of what my ideas and everything are with the base. Um, so, yeah, basically that's the route we're going to go. So first things first, um, we'll start upstairs, basically. I want to get this bed down. Um, and I think what we're going to do is, if it allows... We'll kind of put it in this corner because I don't know what else we're going to put here. I'm going to be honest. So um, we'll go ahead and put the bed down, which we're going to need the crow feather, clay, acorn shells, weed stems and rope. So basically, we'll be able to get that done. I'm thinking over here is going to be all of our crafting stuff. So this is going to be where our spinning wheels are going to be. And I think we're going to do kind of like. Actually, I'm getting an even better idea. What if. All of my spinning wheels are kind of along this wall here. Like so. Uh oh, I'm going to have to kind of squeeze in here. I want to get eight in here. Actually, six should be fine. Yeah, so six spinners right there. Um, on this side, let's kind of look at the downstairs for a second just to get an idea. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do this. Down here, we'll do the workbench over in this corner. Uh, is it going to say it's obstructed because of... Oh, is it that? All right, maybe we'll put the workbench back here. Put it in this little nook here. Along with the little storage basket below it. We'll do a two storage chests over here. To kind of block this corner here, right? Um, what else do we need inside of here? We need, we got spinners. Uh, a grinder. I don't know what a grinder does yet, so we're not going to worry about that too much. The smithing station, yes. And guys, I am aware that I actually have all this stuff built. It's totally fine. It's not that big of a deal that I will have to kind of go ahead and remake this stuff. I'm just kind of putting down the, the foundation and the groundwork uh, to make things easier for me visually. So um, it's not that big of a deal going to get a little bit extra in resources to kind of make this happen. This way, it just it looks a little bit nicer for me in the end. Um, let's see if I can get this in here. That might be a good idea. If I can get you here. I wonder if this is going to affect me going up the stick. Yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll get rid of you and we'll get rid of you. I don't think it really matters if that is on the outside here. Now, I'm almost positive you can't build on this. Yeah, it's an invalid surface. Okay, so what I can do is actually, um, what if we went this route? Now, I know this looks kind of wonky, right? But this could be specifically for, and can I kind of round this to make it look a little bit nicer? Or is it not going to allow that? That actually looks okay. I can kind of round it like that so it doesn't look as wonky. Hmm. I'll think about that because the idea is basically um, this is kind of where I put my little... Where are they? The uh, racks, basically. And what we would do is we would try to... Nah, they're going to be too big. That's the problem. Shoot, these guys are really big. Oh, my God. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Um, we'll get rid of that little corner if I can reach it. And we'll get rid of that corner if I can reach it. I guess the racks, maybe I can do below. That's not that big of a deal. Because it's not like the bugs are going to go after the berries, so that it's fine. Uh, we do have a smoothie station. Water containers we're going to work with in a bit here. Dew collector we're definitely going to be getting. This is going to be big for us. Dew collector will probably be outside also. It can't be inside, obviously. Um, water collectors we are going to use, but we're not going to be using them around base. And I'll show that off in another episode to show kind of what I mean by that. I think food, smoothie station, I think food should probably be down here. But we should probably... Food should be down here, but we do need to put light sources inside of this place. Do I have the resources? I don't. Shoot. Alright, we'll move that for now. Because I can bring the, the one that we have into the house. Um, smoothie station should probably go here, and the grinder should probably go here too. So, like, smoothie station there. Grinder, I don't know what it is, but we'll figure that out in due time. That's going to go here. And we're only going to get one of those a piece. And I think for now, that's kind of it. Maybe what I'll do is, let's see, maybe we'll do like an armor stand. Eh, that probably makes more sense upstairs. Um, but the problem is I just boxed myself in. Uh, maybe armor stand. No, armor stands can be along this wall. Perfect. Okay, so we'll do a dummy armor stand here. If it doesn't sit awkwardly. There we go. And we'll put one on this side. There we go. So two is fine. Um, and then weapon mount. Maybe we'll do a weapon mount on this part of the wall here. And another one over on this wall here. Uh, we have sconces that we have to put in because, yeah, it's going to be extremely dark. Wall sconce in this corner, maybe wall sconce in this corner, and that should light up the upstairs. Maybe a wall sconce like in that corner. I'm just kind of tossing them right now, but we can kind of figure that out once it's a little bit lighter out and everything where we want these guys. Plant lamp, definitely. And I think that'll kind of help lighten up the room and everything. We'll kind of put one in the corner here. And we'll drop on down to the front of the base and we'll put one here and maybe here for right now. But guys, I have a lot of work to do. As you guys can see, there is still a lot of stuff to kind of work with here. Um, but we got the exterior of the base done and I got, oh my God, look at all the, uh, hammers and everything. I gotta say, it looks really, really nice. Of course, we're going to put a little bit more work into it, but for right now, I am happy with the base location. I'm happy with how it looks and I'm definitely going to be happy once the interior is done. I plan on showing that off to you guys in the next episode. I think it's going to look really nice based on kind of visually how I'm thinking it's going to look, but you guys will have to see in the next one. That's going to wrap this one up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash that like button. On top of that, if you're enjoying the Grounded content, the Level 5 Challenge content, and you're enjoying the Fjorder content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.